Today is special, oh, today is special. <laughs> that was creepy of me to like. Yeah. <laughs> Dare I say, top three favorite food spot in all the city? It's, it's definitely up in the top three zone, I would say. This is one of my go-tos. Listen, Rod's delicious. Today is a local spot of all local spots here on the north side of Chicago. Yango's Burgers and stuff. We're gonna go inside, see Mr. and Mrs. Yango, film the process of how food goes from order to in your face hole. Just really excited for you guys to see this spot. And this is a big deal for us. Yeah. We're just such fanboys of this place. Excited for you guys to see this place. Check it out. How's it going, guys? This is my favorite thing on the counter. I want him to get my favorite thing on the counter. Just that hamburger eating that. Oh, yeah. Oh. For some reason, I think that is so funny. Every yeah, time I no. come in here, that makes me laugh. Oh, <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> Bye, thanks again. All right, we'll see you guys. Bye. Bye. Well, we're nerding out. <laughs> Because that was amazing. That was awesome. I love the Yangos. The Yango crew letting us film in the kitchen, just being so incredible to us. So we got two Euros and Fries acquired. And if you guys want to know where Yangos is, it's right on Broadway, just north of Diversity. It's the best year you're going to get in all the land. In all the land. Jump cut. Hi. Um, if you didn't see how incredible they looked in there being professionally made, and just like a kitchen with hard work. Yeah, that's what it is. The best year in Chicago. Best year in Chicago. For 29 years. 29, wow. Yango's very wrong. Yango crew, I just can't get over it. So Corey's gonna take you through what it looks like when you step out of that place and you get it to go as a carryout order. <sighs> this is one of my favorite things in the world is opening a box of Yango's. Mm -hmm. Because look at that. And just so you get, I, here's the thing, in order to know the depth of this, you gotta start piling it off so you can see actually how much euro they put on it. I mean, that's just, look at that. The first time Corey took me here, it was one of the first times we ever hung out outside of improv class. He took me to Yango's and I, he goes, dude, it's gonna be enough for like a couple meals. They always give you so much, it's amazing. I always take some off so I can take it home and, re, and eat another euro. That's why people should always have tortillas or pita bread at their house. At their home, yup. This is you can just be so excessive good. amount of fries, onions, meat. I can't even find the end of the. There it is. Look at you this. can't even see the bread. There it is. Look at this. And that's how you oh. want it. That's how you want your euro to be. Look at this thing. Oh, it's so amazing. And I think the thing that I'm most excited to kind of relay to you guys, this euro meat is the most tender, well seasoned euro meat in the city. Yeah, it's as close as you're gonna find to what you can get over at the uh, over in Europe. Right. It just, for some reason here, it's just done better. Yeah, Yango does it right. He does. Of course, you gotta make a move on that. How do you pronounce that sauce? Saziki. When Corey walks in there, they know he doesn't want tomatoes. That's how much of a yeah. regular he is. <laughs> they know, they it's, know. When you live in a big city and you're a regular in a place, that's just special. I know, that's I love really, it. That's really, really cool. I love it. That was probably one of the first places me and Kylie found once we moved to this neighborhood. God, it's just so perfect, it's mm -hmm. hot. How's that taste then? Amazing. Dude, it's just like, it's, I think it gets better every time. Yeah. And McDonald's style fries. Yeah, these fries are really good. They look like McDonald's fries. It's like the same formula. Usually when I'm being a fat boy, I get cheese to dip it in. Today I decided not to. Right. I always start by just picking up some meat, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna change it for you guys. Dude, look at this. This is unreal. I don't know if they're getting the full. Oh, I think they are. Yango's burgers and stuff. Euros. Cheers. Oh yeah, also, greatest name of a place ever. 
Yango's Burgers and Stuff. I love the stuff. It's hilarious. And he's such a nice guy. They got everything in there. If you guys saw during the montage, the Irish have burgers, Red Hots, which are like Chicago's way of saying, or Chicago style hot dog is a Red Hot. Salads, all different kinds of sandwiches, cheese fries. Dude, that has some good food. Also, before I get too far into this. Yeah. Giveaway time. I needed a receptacle, so I stole this from work. I printed these out from work. Everybody's name that was a successful patron in the month of July. Which is most of ours, minus my best friend Zacho. So Automatically. I gave, so I gave him some shit. Yeah, good. This weekend. Automatically entered to win a $25 gift card to the restaurant of your choosing. That's all of them. As long as we can get a gift card from them over the internet. Right. And we'll send it to you. Yeah, yeah. It can be fast food. It can be a place you want to go to Applebee's. Yeah, there's a local it's place just gotta that be, we can. We got to be able to get it for you. Yeah. All right. All right. So once again, Patreon guys, if you're not, we're going to do this again next month. Probably the same idea. Three $25 gift cards. So if you're, as long as you're a Patreon, it could be one buck. So if you're not a Patreon person, make it happen. And as soon as our first run of t-shirts oh, is yeah. created, we still have to do some administrative work on that. Once they're done, we'll auction off a couple of those as well. And by one? auction, I mean giveaway. You want to pick one? No yeah. looking because you can see some of the names. Remember, everybody from a dollar to $250 a month are in here. Mm-hmm. Shuffling, shuffling. The winner, Molly Nation, yeah. who used to be Molly Trendell. Congratulations, Never Molly. met her, and I know so much about her life. Molly, congrats, $25 gift card. I'll hold your hat. I like how we use this hat, too. This is great. Holy crap. You, Colleen Maxwell. Whoa. That's crazy. Colleen, I don't want anybody to think this is Rick. Well, I mean, crazy. they're all in here. We're doing this. Mm -hmm. Well, here's the thing. When you're supported so heavily by friends and family, right, sometimes some they're going to win. Mm -hmm. You know? All right. This one. Third. I'm going to give them a good. This better be some more random. Feeling around, feeling around. This one feels. If this is depth, somehow that you break this then. Cindy Brown! Oh, Cindy! Cindy will be so happy. Dude, I wore my uh, firefighter shirt. I wore it to work out the other day. That's awesome. Cindy, congratulations. You deserve it so much. Yes. You have been consistently such a fan of the series mm -hmm. and really donating a lot. Thank I'm so glad Cindy won. So those of you guys who don't know, Cindy's been a longtime supporter of Sean. Ever since he used to live in Florida and, and he used to work with some companies there making videos, she was a big supporter of that. Yeah, she was. She followed along and has supported his other YouTube channel, The mm -hmm. Social Media Pessimist. He started. She started supporting this. She's even sent us, and, and you've seen her in We Got the Goods. You haven't seen her, but you've seen her send us stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, she has just been absolutely awesome. She's so great. She, she, she comments on everything. Paycheck. She comments on our Patreon videos. Mm -hmm. She comments on YouTube. She comments on Facebook. She is seriously like our biggest supporter. I'm super happy mm -hmm. that you picked hers out of the, what is it, 70? Yeah, 70 probably 68, patrons, yeah. 70, somewhere around there for like ones that were actually in that. I'm excited to see what everybody picks as the restaurant they want. Yeah, me too. Back to this. I wonder if it's gonna be local. <laughs> yeah. Or fast food. <laughs> These are such great onions that I can just be like, yeah, they're such good onions. No big deal. You do like an apple. Mm. Dude, I love your meat. It's just unbelievable. You can put it on anything. And this pita, they get Fresh. some good ass pita bread. Fresh. It's so soft, but still thick. Yeah. I love just eating all the meat and all the stuff first and then having like the pita as like a dessert. Mm-hmm. I can't get over how tender that is, dude. It blows me away every time we eat here. You live in Chicago three years. How many times do you think you've been to Yango's? Oh, man. 15? Um, 20? Probably even more than 20. Damn. So affordable. Yeah, I just went the other day, too. You can get two cheeseburgers and a side of fries for five sixty-five. We live in Chicago, Illinois. This is the expensive north side. Mm -hmm. You can get burgers and fries for less than $6. That's unheard of. You're just keeping the prices at what they should be. Also, a little trick. If you ever go in there now, it's not a cash-only spot, but you might get a little bit less expensive of a trip if you bring a little cash. Bring cash. Yango likes to, he likes his cash. If you sell them, if you get if you bring cash, your euro might be a buck or two cheaper. And you might get a few more fries. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's like any bar or restaurant. Right. Cash is just easier. Cash is king. And they don't get charged. I mean, every restaurant gets takes a Loses hit. Loses that two percent or whatever. So if you like a local place, pay with cash. It's mm -hmm. I mean, he's not gonna refuse your service, but just do it. Mm-hmm. I always take cash in a local spots when I can. I just know that little bit oh, goes I, a long way. Oh man. I feel like it's hard to get a good Euro too. Like at least this good. Right. This is next level. It's just in a league of its own, in my opinion. And the the personality of that place. Right? All that stuff on the wall. I mean, I try to get as much footage to really show you guys how legit that place is. 
And that guy, nothing makes me happier than talking to Yango during football season is such a treat. <laughs> just listening to all the things that this guy's just like, oh yeah, put some, he's always trying to get me to put money in on stuff. I'm like, Yango, I ain't got no cash, bro. I'm too poor. He's taking all that cash, throwing it down. Does he, does he bet on Bears games? He bets on everything. Oh man. This takes me back. This is like so childhood. A little bendy straw. Mm-hmm. label -less soda pop. Oh man. I, I will care to say, this is one of the least known gems of the city that Deserve selfishly I kind of glad a lot of people don't know about it but I want them to keep mm -hmm. doing better and better. It's that spot when people ask me like what's a hidden gem for like Dude. food for like a, a euro or burger that, and I'm like I always say yeah. You're so right. I never really thought about people it like that. People don't talk about it. Mm -mm. People don't know. You and I rep this place hard and I feel like we're always turning people onto it. That's probably the main reason I've been here more than 20 times or I'd assume it's been more than that mm -hmm. is seriously every time people come in town particularly because mo a lot of these places you go into you're just not going to have the guy who owns it and his wife are always in there working. Mm -hmm. They're time. really the only two employees. I think there's one or two other guys. I've never seen one of them not in there. Mm -hmm. And you're just going to get the experience of the person and you're going to get amazing food and you're going to get it at a good price. Mm -hmm. And that's what makes it a gem. It's so nice. I love walking in there. It makes my whole day better, even before I eat. And it's BYOB. <laughs> yeah. One of my favorite things about Chicago. Mm -hmm. So many spots. You just bring a bottle of liquor in there and just. My cousin Brian is better. My cousin Brian, the one who likes Desmond Jones. Mm -hmm. There's a fantastic comedic duo in the house. Oh, cheese boys. And they go around Chicago and the greater Midwest area reviewing uh, fast food and pizza and chicken wings and hot sauces. Last time he came in town, I was like, dude, is there anything you want to do? He goes, as long as we go to Yango's. That's the only thing. I brought him in here before and took him to Yango's. Now, every time he comes out, he's like, well, I got to hit up Yango's. That's the only thing I know. I love Brian. I also like people who, when they travel, it's food-based. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That's like anytime you and I go anywhere, we're already thinking about where we're going to eat, how to allot the right amount of time to eat there. That's how AJ, who came in town recently. Yeah. Who we, we, oh, oh, I guess they know from... Uh, got to go with the tried and true. Man. Damn it. Got to go with the... Oh, sucker. <laughs> he plans his stuff around food and this is the place I took him obviously mm -hmm. they loved it I loved every second of it and here's the other great thing about it look at all this let me show this to these guys so I'm I'm decided I'm done at this point right look at all this mm -hmm. and it reheats so well I'll tell you so you put this on some tin foil yep throw it in the oven 350 maybe 10 minutes uh-huh this is gonna reheat great it really does and I've I had reheated Yangos at your apartment and it was just as good as when mm -hmm. it's fresh Yep, sure is. And the fries, too. That's hard to pull off. That is hard to pull off. And dogs love it, too. Cinnamon loves yeah. when I get Yangos. Oh, uh, yeah. Nice little Wednesday afternoon, am I right? Dude, this is a nice... nice what a time little, to be alive. What a time to be alive. He's got a great location here. He does. And I wouldn't be surprised if they live above it, maybe? Because they're there literally all the time. Or at least on the block. <laughs> Somewhere. Yeah. Every time I walk by, they're just usually kicking it in there watching TV if there's nobody in there. Which right. There's usually people in there, so. We walked in there with the camera. Biggest smile on his face. So, when I'm going to see you, Sonny? This will be Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah, yeah it'll be coming quick. How much you think for a, those cylinders of Euro meat? Right. You know, that they got and they turn around and think. I wonder what that takes. Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea. Like, what is that, 100, 100 bucks? Because you'd have to buy. Well, I'm wondering, say you got the thing. Okay. Like just the meat, I wonder. Like, oh, I was you're getting, that. I bet your profit on that. How many sandwiches do you think come off one of those a things? A ton, right? Like, this is for you. Oh, thank you, thank you. What an all around great experience. That's what I'm gonna start telling people because people will message us and be like, where should we eat? We're coming to Chicago, where should we eat? I'm gonna say, Yango's, Yango's is it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, There's you can pick. Go walking. Where did he go? He went somewhere because I could see him. He's shuffling down the street oh, right yeah, now. He's got his hat on. I like how he's got his butcher coat on and everything. Mm -hmm. Is he going to the well, salon? Is he wandering into that salon? I think he's go checking out the salon. <laughs> well, I know it's completely pointless to rate it, but I want it to go down in the record books as perfect score because I know it will. Mm -hmm. So let's just pick the thing we want to rate it out of. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't want to go too on the nose or too obvious. Out of five of those kid with a burger face in there on the counter. Oh, yeah. The burger face kid. Out of five burger face kids, how many burger face kids do you give the Euro from Yang? All five, baby. Bringing the goods all day, every day. Mr. Yango's the man. Five burgers all day, every day, seven days a week. BYOB. BYOB. I like some of these local episodes. We're just such big fans of the place that this turns from a comedy series just into like food porn fest. Yeah. Nothing funny is being said. It's yeah. just us being like, oh yeah, this oh is, yeah. Just us straight in love with everything about this. <laughs> yeah. We, sorry we were so aggressive about that. Whatever. If you caught me drooling, that's on me. We'll be funny later when we review something else from Burger King. 
Yeah, that's when we get the best of our jokes. And Sonic. Eat it, Chicago. It's always good. Don't forget to become a Patreon patron so you can be in the running for Do all it. kinds of free stuff. Subscribe if you haven't done that yet. Like this video and make sure to like our Facebook page. Yeah. We're growing on there and that validates all of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, check that out. Check out our Instagram, Twitter. You guys know that. We got all the you social media stuff. Just say hi. Reach out to us on any of those. We love talking to fans. That's right. And keep your eyes open for that shirt. Coming soon. Brand new video tomorrow. You guys have a phenomenal rest of your Wednesday. Hump on this hump day because the hump don't stop. I'll swing through with a, a link to it. I'll come. I'll write down where you can, how you can find it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll bring it in for you. Yeah.